it's, 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 it's amazing. I mean, it's, what's really good is obviously getting our heritage and our cap, but what is really nice is just reminiscing and, and catching up with all players that stem back from 1989 right through to 2003. And we've, we're just catching up on all stories, what we're all doing, at what we're doing now, and it's been really, really good. It's so well organised. Uh, take me off to the people that have organised it and Julia for all the work that she's done. It's absolutely amazing. And everybody's just really buzzing and enjoying it. I think it's important that people know what came before them. And like Julia said, before um, she got involved, they, we didn't exist. What we did in '96 wasn't actually in the archives, didn't exist. So now we're on the map uh, and we'll always be on the map. Um, and people, years and years to come, We'll obviously be talking, talking about this day, talking about the 96 team and what we did and the teams that, that came after us. I was not the best behaved at school, I would say, and I think for me sport kept me in school, um, kept me on the right track, but also I think with whenever I felt down or low, I would do some sort of sport, whether it be football, whether it be rugby, whether it go to gym, and I think it's really, really important, uh, not only for your physical well-being, but for your emotional well-being. And young girls today, obviously with all the pressure of social media, uh, Snapchat, all this photoshopping, for girls to be out there playing rugby, and all shapes and sizes can only boost people's confidence. And when you've got your high in confidence and your high in self-esteem, it can only be good for your mental health. I mean, when we first started playing, rugby league wasn't a sport that girls did. Um, I can't imagine many dads or mums would have wanted their daughters to play. Um, over the years now, I would imagine that parents are pushing their children to play women's rugby league, to play rugby league. Um, they can see how much it's grown, how much fun that, that people have, um, and it'll be something that I think will be alongside football, where women playing rugby league is now going to be the norm. Girls playing rugby league will become the norm. For, for women playing rugby's new thing, it's probably not that new, um, obviously, because I played in 1989. Um, and back then, um, I would say there probably wasn't a lot of uh, black and ethnic minorities playing. Um, as t in 96, uh, I would say that increased. And I think if you look around, especially in the Yorkshire areas, like your Leeds and your Huddersfield, I, th I think you can see that there are young, uh, young girls, black minority and ethnic, that are taking up the sport and are playing the sport. So hopefully in a few years' time, there will be quite, quite a lot of um, it'd be quite quite diverse, and there'd be quite a lot of girls and women playing that were from those backgrounds. And it's been an absolute amazing last sort of like six months for us. With since when it, when, it, when obviously Julia stated that this was going to happen, um, and I know myself and Brenda and Sally, who, who were inducted into Hall of Fame, um, have had so much interest, so much positive feedback um, from all over, all over the men and women and girls congratulating us and saying how much we deserved it and I don't think we realised when we played back then what sort of impact we'd have now. Uh, so it, it, it feels really, really good to know that what we did back then is having a, a positive impact what's happening now.